And that's what he <laughs> that's minds it. me of AI. It's a relentless attack on you at the rim. And that's like AI. Neither guy was a great three-point shooter, but they found a way to get points in the paint. And this right here is just so disrespectful. I mean, John Morant going, he just, AI didn't dunk it like that, but their mindset reminds me of the slight of Bill. He just reminds me so much of AI. I'm so thankful for John ja Morant doing what he's doing because now he's shining a spotlight on AI. People forgot how special Allen Iverson was. And Allen Iverson played in an era where we put guys like him on the ground. That little dude got up every single night. And Ja Morant has the same mentality. Smitty, you just said it. They're coming. They're not afraid to hit the ground. They're not afraid to get blooded and bruised because they understand that their size, like AI used to say, I've been hit all my life at every level of basketball but because people couldn't understand me at my size able to come in and dominate the game the way I did. Sean Moran has the same mentality. And guess what, people? Not only they better get ready for an MVP or two, they better start thinking about championships because you look at what he's done in Memphis. And I'm going to say this, and I'm going to put the onus on your young boy, Jaron Jackson Jr. We knew Ja could be this special. The difference for me in Memphis this year has been J.J., Jaron Jackson Jr., to me, he's the closest player to Giannis when, with a jump shot. When you look at the size, if, if he gets a little bit stronger, Smith, another year in that weight room and get that bounce, and he develop, keep developing that mentality that they have, this Memphis Grizzly team is going to be in the hunt for the next 10 years as long as Jean Morant and those what two if, players if, What about I, this year? Can I ask you this before we get to that, Chris? Great question. And Desmond Bain reminds me, not the same game, of Chris Middleton. Yes. And I think that's where you look at it. They're young. And then this year, I don't take uh, that they couldn't. I mean, they, don't they need this year? Your guy, they've been missing, Dylan Brooks. They need that him. wing guy. That, they that's that a defender guy. that can make a shot, but I take any challenge at Defense two or three or four, yes. And then there's something about his personality. Nastiness. Too. Yes. That's why you like him. Love him. Looking at the Western Conference, you see the teams ahead of the Grizzlies, the Phoenix Suns uh, without Chris Paul for the next, what, six to seven weeks, Devin Brooks, who? Devin Booker out, health and safety protocols. They have that huge lead out west, but also the Golden State Warriors have been struggling a bit. If the Grizzlies are able to leapfrog, let's say the Golden State Warriors, or catch the Phoenix Suns, finish with the best record in the NBA or second best record out west, do you think Josh should be the MVP? You know, uh, it depends on what type of numbers he keeps putting up. I mean... Because uh, they're right there. I, I think he's definitely moved up. I still have Jokic, Embiid, and Giannis in front of him today. But the way he's playing and he keeps moving up, it'll be a case for him. I mean, I, I just think what he's been doing is phenomenal. He could, because I won't doubt that he can have a 40-point run these last 15 or 20 games. But... It's depending on what the other guys do or don't do and where they go in record-wise. If we're 22 or 23 games to go, there's six and a half games behind Phoenix. If they finish with the number one seed in the Western Conference and this young man is playing the way he's playing, I don't know how you cannot give it to him. Think about this, especially if Joel B and James Harden don't finish first in the Eastern Conference. So think about it from this standpoint. If he walks in, and that is a possibility depending on how long Devin Booker's going to be out because I expect Phoenix to start struggling now. You're talking about your two all-star guards in the backcourt and you can expect to win games in the NBA. It ain't happening. I don't care how deep your team is. is, it, is it enough, you don't replace that. Is it enough games left, though, Sam, to say they would? I mean, They'll have to have a collapse. It's not enough, but it's enough for them to catch Golden State. Yes. And my only thing is, as far as the MVP, if Joel Embiid and... and, and uh, Philly, who's right now the leading candidate, if they don't overtake Chicago and Miami in the Eastern Conference, and Ja Morant is some kind of way sitting there at two or possibility at one, how can you not have a strong debate mm -hmm. that he's the MVP? No, we expected uh, Joel Embiid and Philadelphia to be at the top. We, inspect, we expected the Joker and Denver to do what they're doing. We didn't expect Ja Morant or DeRozan, or DeRozan to